Okay, there's no reason to buy these stupid expensive battery chargers that just don't work. They die real quick. Said I'm using a bench power supply. And the link is below on where to get this on Amazon. Notice I set the current for 14.8. This battery has a normal charge on it. It's pretty much charged up. It's drawing 0.6 amps. So I would set this configuration in the current limiting. Notice I'm limiting current now. So I and the current maximum is like 62. So I turn a little bit past that way. The voltage is the limiting factor. So now it's being limited by 14 volts. The charge is. If I wanted to do it another way, I can turn down the voltage. Turn down the current. Power the unit off. Set the voltage on maximum. Leave the current on minimum and start it up. Notice the battery's about 12.9 volts by itself. As I bring up the current, notice I can bring it up, I can force 6 volts, 7 amps, 9 amps, up to the limit of the charger, which is 10 amps. So I can force easily 9 amps with no struggle. And it automatically raises the voltage, whatever it takes to control that current. So this is what you do if you want to revitalize a battery, it won't take a charge. You just force the current into it. Even though it's got some crappy cells, eventually the current will get through and start charging those crappy cells. So this is the best way I've found to charge batteries. I'm not buying any more of those expensive chargers. They say, oh, they're automatic and they float and all this crap. Yeah, when they work, they don't work half the time. So I'm going to shut this back down by turning the current back down to zero. Whatever notice it notices the battery is 13.3 volts. So I'll bring the voltage up a little bit. If you want to go to long term storage, we can bring our voltage back. Bring our current down. Bring our voltage back to maximum. Bring our current up to whatever we want the current to be. So you want to put half an amp through it. So now it's going to charge half amp no matter what the battery voltage goes to. So this is how I use a normal bench top power supply to charge my batteries. It works quite well. It gives me full control over what happens during the charge.